So the UCI have started their own investigation. What, why isn't that good enough, do you think? Well, already there are problems with it. When you look at the terms of reference that the uh, Independent Commission has been, who gave them those terms of reference? Who set those out? Because there are serious holes in the terms of reference already. There's no mention of the tourist risk positive uh, or several aspects of the Armstrong investigation that raise questions about the UCI. So you're dealing here with uh, three uh, commissioners who don't have any real knowledge of the sport and who have been set terms by I don't know who. So that's the first question I'd like answered. Who actually set the terms of reference? Also, is it, uh, uh, is it right that during the investigation that the people being investigated remain at the helm of the sport? I don't think so. I think they should be made to step away from that and, um, uh, and have no act or hand or part in the sport while that investigation is taking place. So that's just, just for starters. Why should your group have any more authority than the official body? Well, we don't have, we're not looking for authority. We're not looking to be an a alternative governing body. We're just setting out, we're fed up with what's happened with this sport. Uh, it's a beautiful sport. It's been reduced to to uh, ridicule, um, and it need, we need to change that. We're, we're suggesting what needs to be done to uh, put the sport back where it should be. And who are you trying to persuade? We're trying to persuade. Well, we're, we're trying to persuade. We're, we're canvassing uh, the general public, um, and we're trying to persuade, if you want, the people that are in a position to bring about this change, to do what needs to be done. Public perception is important. It's a big battle to overcome that. Well, it's not a big battle because the public perception is that, the, the, that they cannot believe any of... I mean, even this year, Bradley Wiggins, I've been asked, if, if I had a pound for every time someone asked me, do you believe Bradley Wig in Bradley Wiggins, I'd be a very rich man. So the public perception is we don't know who the champions are and who the cheats are anymore. So that's what we've got to address. And do you believe this is going? That this is the first step towards achieving that. The steps that we've laid out now in, in our charter, uh, I believe, can address it. It's it's a serious problem. It's a deep-rooted problem. The the culture of doping in the sport goes way back. Um, but I've always said it. There is nothing wrong with this sport that a little bit of truth and a bit of honesty can't sort. And that's that's the bottom line here. You apply some honesty and some truth and we can do this. But as an independent group, you say yourself you don't have any authority. How are you going to achieve these ends? Well, already uh, we're going to outline the position. Um, we're going to try and ask WADA or influence people, the people in positions that can aff uh, affect change, to think about what's being done, to, to, to you know, step back and you know, explain what I've just asked there about the uh, about the terms of reference and stuff like that and just to you know to, to make sure that the process that is in place by the the authoritative bodies is the best process possible to take the spot forward i mean you've got some very powerful people here you have strong voices and they are going to be listened to that's that's the bottom line i mean paul kimmich can come here and rant and rave for 20 minutes and you know we'll say oh well, we've heard all that before but when i'm sitting beside greg lamond and eric boyer and you know people like that you know they're going to listen you spent a lot of time, many, many years, trying to achieve this. Do you think you're beginning to get there? And what's your motivation for doing it? Well, my motivation is I love the sport um, and I detest doping. And I detest what doping has done to the sport. That's always been my motivation. Um, and I'm fed up with it now and, it, and we need, it needs to be addressed. And until it's addressed, I mean, this is the last chance. This is the last chance the sport has. It had a chance in 1998, nothing changed. If we don't address it now, that's it. It's over, game over.